bucket challenge. It drove more internet traffic than the Super Bowl and the Oscars combined. And it is back this summer. The inspiration behind it, Beverly native Pete Frades. Tonight, we get closer to Pete and his family, who say last year's wave of goodwill was just the beginning. It's just become a social phenomenon. I mean, obviously, no one really expects that to happen. Yeah. So it's, I think it's, we still kind of haven't wrapped our minds around it. <laughs> <laughs> In just four weeks last summer, ALS, the disease always known as Lou Gehrig's, suddenly had a new team captain for a cure, BC baseball star Pete Frades. Presidents and patriots, celebrities and squealing kids, a bucket of ice and a phone, and you were part of it. Suddenly, a dire diagnosis was infused with joy. Is there one moment out of all of it that you think, boy, I'm always going to remember that? I think for us, we kind of were, every day we woke up surprised by who, you know, did it like the day before and overnight and all these things. And I think when Bill Gates did it, we both kind of were like, whoa, we're not messing around. He's the real deal. What do other ALS patients and their families tell you about what this means to them, what you've done for them? For them to have Pete be their spokesperson and our family, you know, work for this disease, I, I think it means, you know, everything to them. The ALS Ice Bucket Challenge is now the biggest medical fundraising campaign in history. 17 million videos on Facebook alone from over 150 countries raising a quarter of a billion dollars. You want people to know the Ice Bucket Challenge just wasn't a, you know, isn't so last summer. Yeah. It just wasn't no, a one-shot no. deal. You want people to embrace it again this year. Right, and our slogan is every August until a cure. Everything you wanted to do last year, bring it on this year. At their Beverly home, Pete's mom reflects on how fast ALS became their lives. It's only been three years for Pete, and Pete's on life support now. I mean, three years ago, he was hitting home runs all over Boston. Do you have a dream person that you'd like to see pour the ice bucket Ooh, over their a, heads? That's a really good question. Do I have a dream person that I would like to see? I would like to see Tom Brady kind of do it on his own this year, and maybe with his family, because I think that would be a lovely thing to see because everybody loves to see him with his children and his wife. Just as she loves to see Pete and Julie with baby Lucy, born August 31st. She's just such a joy, and it's pretty funny. She came in uh, such a monumental month for us. At Boston College, Pete's motto was ever to excel, which he plans to do every summer every August until a cure. Really proud of my son. He's changed the world. The Ice Bucket Challenge just won 10 international awards in Cannes for advertising and media campaigns, including the prestigious Grand Prix for Good. Now, the challenge runs July 31st through the month of August, so get your buckets ready. And mm -hmm. don't forget to use the hashtag every August until a cure. It's funny, when it was happening, it was like, okay, Everyone's doing it, it but so now organic. I miss it. Now that no one's doing it, yes. I miss it. So I'm excited that it's coming back. You plan to decide on the three people you're going to challenge. Well, you. That's very important. I'll be number and one. And Eric. <laughs> Eric, <laughs> Liam, Lisa. It's going to be huge. It is.